the Orbis gravitating to a shuttle. It's interesting. Why the hell did you not want to go to Marlock? Don't think it likes an aquatic planet. Not that I can blame the old girl. Besides, haven't we got more important priorities at the moment? Sadly, it seems like I'm having a bit of difficulties tracing when and where the antimatter wave is going to hit. We're still in the dark with a lot of uncovered areas, questions that seem difficult to solve for the time being. I get it. Not like I was questioning your decision. But I know you've been determined to resolve this. I know. Something comes up, I'll be there to try and deal with it. No point dwelling in mystery, so with that said, I guess we can afford to distract our minds on this shuttle and find out what the big deal is until we find out what universe we can try and save next. Oh, it's crowded. Lovely. Oh, what's the matter? Masses of people interacting with one another, making friends. And by my senses, this is a ship that is homing these lovely bunch. Wonder what's up. Well, she seems to be acting curious. You think we should go talk to her? May as well get some info on this place and where and well, when we are at. Orbis didn't specify the information of this place. Uh, hey! Hey, wait. I don't recognize you both. We like to keep ourselves private. Liam Carlson and my girlfriend Jade. So... We don't get around much here. What's the big deal? Nope. I am not playing this game. What's your angle? Our angle? Look, let's not play dumb. Because that's really annoying. I know something is off with this place. If you're both involved, you will be stopped. Don't think she realizes who we are. But what do you mean something is off? Everyone seems to be going about their day here. Why should I tell you what I'm feeling? I haven't seen you both before. Because if there is something wrong, we're here to help. We're not here to cause trouble. Promise. <sighs> I don't know if you know how this ship came about, but ever since this event called Crisis, a ship has been traveling to planets to collect only a select bunch of people. Ah, so it's a crisis issue. It's saving people. Nothing wrong with that. Did you not hear about the select few? The majority here act as if words ending are not an issue. There is something in my gut that just doesn't sit right about this place. Now, if you excuse me... Hey, 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 we can help you out. And with that, we're going to drop the act. We just landed here on our ship for some reason. We just landed here and we've been trying to get the upper hand on this crisis. It's been an event that I have been destined towards for some time. May I ask, what is this place called? Miss Kane, glad to see you're willingly conversing with... Oh. Hello. You. I'm sorry, you know our captain? Captain? Oh, great. This just gets a lot worse. Yeah, we know each other. Former friends. Hello, Red Wolf. <laughs> Liam Carson and Rhiann and Martindale Weatherup in The Carson Chronicles Series 4, Episode 5 Into the Unknown by Liam Carson so it's been a while? <laughs> Why are you here? You first. Why are you captain? What is this place? Because now I'm starting to get concerned. Guess it's true no good deed goes unpunished. Miss Kane, would you mind us a moment so we can catch up? We have some things to discuss. Really? Is there something I should know? Oh, no, just old friends catching up. We need to discuss something that concerns the both of us. Hmm. Okay, then. Cut the act! What are you up to? The last time I saw you, we were enemies. 
And last time I saw you, I nearly kicked your ass and you had to teleport so you wouldn't whimper to stop. Wouldn't have imagined survival to be an idea that was chastised. But then again, your dear boyfriend isn't one that is without his running away issues, is he? Okay, make with the answers, Wolf! Well, brace yourself, because I know you're going to lose your cool. Welcome to Outer Heaven 2. What the hell? You seriously idolized this place after Outer Heaven! Why shouldn't I? We would have prevented the crisis had you and your bunch of idiots listened and not been so hungry towards the idea of destroying Outer Heaven. Plus, second in command, and with your older self dead, I guess I'm king of the jungle. Bit unoriginal if you ask me. Any other name and you'd pay tribute to a place that endorses trial of labor and cruelty. So why should we not suspect you now? Because the universes are ending, Jade. I started plans for Outer Heaven 2 because our intentions on preventing a crisis were true. Liam, you can get as angry with me as you would like, but at the end of the day, my plans were all about stopping this crisis, and now it's on our doorstep. You may consider me a villain, but that I feel far from. You need to listen to me right now, please. Jade, patrol the corridors, just in case. I want a private word with Wolf. Just like the good old days. Just so you know, any funny business and our dance at Outer Heaven will pale in comparison to what I have in store for you. And I look forward to our rematch. Now to the loo. Whiskey? I know it's a favourite of yours, so may as well be welcoming. Wolf, I am not falling for it again. I may have tricked you in Outer Heaven, but now everything is ending. And quite frankly, I'm a survivalist. I don't want to die, and I'm sure you want to continue however many lives you have left. I know you've been tracking this crisis, and to be honest, I've been watching you. If that doesn't sound creepy. When you were older, you wanted to prevent this crisis. I'm not going to argue with you right now. You want to stop it, and so do I. For our own reasons. But this is what I do not get. How can I trust you? You're saving these people. You can throw them away. So if you're out there for your own skin... What's the sentiment for these humans? The same reason you would. Our survival is of the utmost importance, but our survival doesn't mean we should be the only things to exist. We do what we can to save others. You would open doors for others to prosper rather than be eliminated. And he made them slaves. He manipulated people. And I am not him. This is a free nation. In the event the crisis has wiped out every single universe, including ours, Outer Heaven 2 will solely remain. And that is where you come in. No, no, I am not joining. I told you before. I stand by my word. Next time you interrupt me, I will kick you in the jaw. I am willing to help you out because this needs to be stopped. However, in the event where everything is lost, I want you to transport this shuttle into a pocket dimension. What good is that going to do? Pocket dimensions, whilst connected to our universe, are also small and immune to the Eternal. We will be limited, but I know you can transport us safely to a location until you can figure out how to bring everything back. I don't ask for much, but this? Yeah, this I'm asking of you. If. And if I restore the multiverse, what becomes of Outer Heaven 2? Do I need to worry about it? No. I'll keep out of your way. Promise. Outer Heaven. What a joke. I got you! What the hell? 
Oh, it's you. Sorry, I thought you were trouble. Still inquiring? Not going to stop until I find something. Love your attitude. I don't feel right about this place too. Aha! You and your boyfriend. You know the leader. What's the story? We're the same species. Or Salians. Never heard of them. And I do love exploring other species. But what you are, this is a first. Well, he and... someone else. They ran a corrupt dump of a company together, called Outer Heaven. So that's why this shit all is called Outer Heaven too. I knew I had something on my radar. Yeah, though they at the time and Wolf right now seem hell-bent on trying to stop this crisis. Which, I guess, is consistent. But you've been watching this place like a hawk. Yeah. Rumor started months ago about an organization that looked to be revived. One feared by people, but nobody could tell me why. So, I decided to see if there was any validity for these worries. Well, I don't know what to believe at this point. This place makes me sick, but I also know Wolf. I know what he's like, whilst I don't trust him or view him as good. I know he's all about survival too. And this project is all about that. Did you hear that? Yeah. I think someone wants to disturb our privacy. Look out! I knew it! Horses held. I have this handled. What the hell? Not bad. You okay? Yeah, just baffled. How did you? Eh, little perk I have. Kind of cool. But just as I expected, Wolf has a hidden role in this station. I want to agree with you. But there's part of me that's unsure. Look familiar to you? Not a clue. Why the hell were they after us? I think we best find that out ourselves and speak to the manager. You are all about stopping this crisis, but I think in this scenario, information is key. I'm so glad you said that. I'm not sure how much you know, but I have amassed a library of information. I haven't got too far in my pursuit for knowledge. How are you able to, in your words, amass a library of information? Look in the right places. You will find it. You also forget that my days at the original Art of Heaven allowed me to access what is to come. You didn't think your older self assured victory against this crisis out of confidence, did you? Well, why don't you tell me if you're willing to help? If you have more knowledge, I think it's best you share with the class. Everything about the Eternal, his origins, the Hollowed, everything related to his campaign against everything in existence. Wow, you're really behind, aren't you? The universe has always assumed the legend of the Eternal has been man-focused, because why not? Men are superior, right? <laughs> Wrong. The Eternal is a she. Because who runs the world? Right? The Eternal is a she? What's with the misconception, then? Because people are dumb. The Eternal never makes a public appearance like she's a celebrity. There's a reason why the universe was never in a 24-7 state of worry. She has been planning on the eradication of the multiverse all this time. For millions of years she has been locked away thanks to her twin known as the Infinite. They are two of the oldest beings in creation. Some accounts say they are the ones who kickstarted life and split the universe into the multiverse that we know of today. A deity of matter and a deity of antimatter. They would be tasked with creating a balance for all. All until the Infinite had to imprison her sister. Let me guess. She got corrupt. Power becomes an obsession. That kind of thing. What do we say about assumption? It started with the idea that the Eternal began to not agree with the ways her sister shaped the universe. And so the two argued over how the universe was built. 
Neither could see eye to eye until the infinite splintered the universe when her sister tried to reboot the single universe into a better image. This was not the plan. The infinite essentially had a higher importance in the mind of the eternal, and in response she seek to wipe out the worlds that should not have been created. But with more worlds scattered into atoms, she suddenly had a thirst to wipe out every universe, including the original one, and eradicate her sister, with the only universe being the antimatter universe. So, if she gets her freedom, she shall continue her plan to destroy everything containing matter. She shall continue her plan to destroy every universe in existence. So, how do we prevent this? Because we have her forces out to play. The Hollowed. I believe they can siphon Earths and universes to become antimatter, feeding all that harvested energy to the Eternal. Thus allowing her to be freed from her prison. The more she gets, the weaker the prison becomes, and once the antimatter decays her prison cell walls, well, welcome to the end of the world. All of them. Plural. Then you surely know a way to kill her. I'm not taking any chances, Wolf. She has to be killed. Her, her minions, and that includes the man in the mask acting as her second. Man in a mask? I've never heard of anything like that before. Me and Jade confronted a person wearing a mask who seems to be in control of the Hollowed, at least. They confirmed they were working for the Eternal, working on making sure that this crisis happened. Must be a new player to this travesty. I can try to have a look into this, but I can't promise any results. What I gathered was from the older times. There's obviously a limited amount of information for obvious reasons, but with the crisis here, I've been trying to gather as much as I can within the current series of events, so I can find some way to survive. Jade? Everything okay? Wolf, why don't you tell me? This face familiar to you? A Meridian? So you do know them? Working in cahoots with them? For your information, Miss Kane, the benefits of not being a human being means you have the opportunity to expand your horizons. If you are done accusing me of conspiring, they are a race filled with sabotars who seek to enslave, who seek power. How they slipped in here is beyond me. I mean... You're the leader of this abomination. I can assure you this isn't my doing. Why would I sabotage my own fortress? Why don't I just shoot myself in the foot? I can gather why they're here, though. And I think it's about a change in management. Hallway gas levels high. All residents retreat to their rooms until the matter is resolved. This is an error. Oh, what the hell have they done? As you said, seems like they're wanting to ruin your perfect heaven. I'm going to find them. Did you not hear? Main hallway is being flooded with gas. You'll be knocked out. Well, if I were human, you're staying put. Jade, come along. I don't know if you trust me enough to offer you a drink. Well, you can tell Wolf wasn't expecting us with the way this gas isn't affecting us. But what's the plan? We don't even know where they are. Well, they targeted this location, hoping to affect a few people at least, so I'll assume they'll be watching. Which means I'm going to send them a message request. We know you've boarded this ship, my Redians. Don't suppose we could have a nice little chat if you're not afraid of a little confrontation? What are you? Why are you? Not affected. Problem with being Orcellian. Now, whoa! Okay, guessing you're not friends with us. We know what you are. Your people burn house to the ground. You war with risers, saw millions of hours incarcerated, leaving a small party of Myridians left to survive. I guess some things never change. Look, I'm sorry about what our race did, 
but lashing out against these humans is not the answer. They are trying to live in peace, or at least that's the guess. We noticed one of your kind leading this ship close to Myria's remains. You sabotaged our species, and we will do the same to what is left of your race. And how do you think the human race will respond to this? You're not exactly being the better species, are you? Collateral damage. They chose to reside in this fortress. They chose to align themselves with a ruthless species. They will die along with you all. Not if I have anything to say about it. Ugh. How... how the hell could you see me? Invisibility is not something that catches us by surprise. Yeah, well, one of your friends didn't get the memo when I put them down. Okay, don't! If you depart now, there will be no further issues. I am speaking as one of the last remaining Orcellians in existence. I don't wish to cause any harm. The Orcellian running this place, he's my responsibility. I will deal with him. That won't be happening. We will be dealing with him our own way. And if you wish to get in our way, we will kill you. You have one hour to surrender your leader to us, or we will use his secret weapon to kill everyone, including the humans on this ship. His secret weapon. We'll see you in an hour then. secret weapon. What the hell? Best we play this cool for the Myridians and inquire on Wolf and what is going on. Sadly, it seems they also have some sort of power against us. If they're that confident in eliminating everybody on this ship. First, we gotta get some answers. We will send this place to its doom once they inevitably do not hand over the person they call Red Wolf. There is no escape for these rodents, and so they will have no choice but to face death. And yet you hover or shellion. Who just made their presence known? I recognize one of them, and I have understanding that he is a warrior of sorts. They are not of concern, especially since our infiltration on this ship has greatly expanded our chances of victory with the help of a certain benefactor. We cannot trust this person, however. We have to be alert in case of a surprise attack. We have our tactics. Many who begin to underestimate the Meridians suffer the worst, and today will be no different. For we shall have reign over this fortress. For we shall rebuild. Has the adjustments to the weapon been made? Yes. We will be able to make ourselves pilots and nothing will prevent us. Victory shall be at hand. Satisfactory news. Leverage is ours. Prepare for total takeover of outer heaven. Okay, you don't have to force your way into the room. There is your a... Your secret weapon! What the hell are you planning? Of course you decided to have a snoop around my ship because you lack trust in me. Trust is important. I don't see why Liam should establish trust in you in the first place, given the fact you almost killed us both last time. And I tried to be honest to you for once. A couple of years after Outer Heaven fell, I retrieved some spare parts. Guess you could say I planned on keeping the legacy alive. In the, the old, I guess. <laughs> Amongst what I salvaged, the TX-94. 
Are you serious? What? Liam, I don't get the surprise. A crisis has been coming all this time, and you think I'm not going to make the most of my defenses? It's not just that. I know you would be out for revenge against me. Using a walker unit would certainly be one idea. It would. But until you are my biggest concern, I recommend lessening your anxieties. Besides, we didn't sneak about in your base. The Myrdians, they said they wanted you or they would use the TX-94 to kill everyone on the ship. Those bastards! How the hell did they get access to the testing arena? Same way a suspicious race boarded your ship without your approval, maybe? That's besides the point. They have your walker unit, and if we don't respond, your successor to the Outer Heaven will end up the same as its predecessor. In ruins. No. Don't tell me you're actually going to adhere to their threats. Of course not. We actually need to form a plan, because I know how tough that thing can be. And the Maredians don't play either with their tendrils. We have to work together in taking it down. Look, your feelings towards me can be whatever they are, but if you want to survive and if you value the lives of all of these lot, I think we have a good chance of assuring that to happen. You're really wanting to destroy the thing you sought to salvage? I mean, the alternative is worse, so quite frankly, I'm going with the lesser of two evils. Besides, I'm sure if I could salvage it before, there'll be no harm in making it another rebuild. There'll be more than the ones controlling the TX-94. This seems like a siege. You and Emma, you need to take on the remaining Myredians on this fortress and gather people in an area just in case things go to hell. Hold on. I am not sure if I'm cut out for this. Fighting isn't in my blood, especially alien pirates. From what we've seen, provoking them is a bit of a risk. That's why attacking them should happen if necessary. I'll take the lead. What becomes of any surviving Meridians? Well, I have a method on dealing with extremely dangerous beings. Besides, me and Liam, we have to take a trip down memory lane. So, this is a certified idea you have, Wolf? Old memories, old friend. This is not a trip down memory lane. You know what happened with me... ...with Sarah. Okay, fine. I won't push those boundaries you've clearly not gotten over. Hey, parasites, why don't we settle this like professionals? Unless cowardice is something you all admire. You think you went a bit overboard with the intimidation? I have them where I want them. Oh, what have they done to you, my beauty? The sound. I know all too familiar. I am glad you are both able to make it. Two cancerous men of this universe. It's happening all over again. Yeah, except I know how it is. So great to have the hands of this place come to the slaughter. And these lambs will not go without a fight. This will be your last warning. Leave this ship now, and we won't have to use excessive force to stop you from killing innocents. You should have thought about that when our planet burned. We will never yield until we get our revenge. My friend here, he may be more compassionate about allowing you to live, but I am not. So if you're not going to surrender, that is a shame for you. Wolf, don't! No! Yeah, I think you're forgetting who the official pilot is for the machine you're controlling. Well, it's your contraption. Any tips? Look, leave the TX-94 to me. I know it better than anything, so the weak points play to my advantage. That apparent ringleader is trying to summon his friends to stop us, so I say bring them into the line of fire. What? 
That's I know, you have such a soft spot for preserving life. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, they, they chose this path. They walked. They could have surrendered. So if they want to go out like heroes, fine by me. It's the only feasible way we make sure everybody in here is safe and safe. Fine. You deal with the TX-94. Show yourselves. You're foolish. It will put me with the king. We'll save your lives. Cowards! Interesting, you assume us to be cowards. You call us foolish. Okay, let's go. Yeah, and who was the moron who decided to get trigger happy in the first place? Liam, take this bomb. Looks like it's not far off from collapsing. Yeah, well, I was still working on repairs until these bastards decided to take matters into their own hands. Give me a few grenades. I'll aim for the legs. Trust me, I'm not my first dance with this machine. Yeah, don't remind me. Okay, time to put an end to all of this. Whoa! Look! Cockpit open! Oh, that word fixing the motherboard. Call me foolish and ignore the fact that I said I know that machine more than you. You're all in way over your head. Fix this. Don't think spamming the control panel will do anything. Here we go! <laughs> well, that was a lot easier than anticipated. Let's see. Two people who know about the TX-94, one who piloted the thing and one who faced off against it, against a species way in over their head thinking they have leverage against us when they haven't got the faintest idea on how to effectively use something they're not accustomed to. I wonder why it was easy. Condescension not really necessary. I am not the one pointing out the obvious. Besides, I am in need of answers from this parasite. Going somewhere? It's funny. You said we were cowardly for retreating, which I call strategy because me and Liam, we had a plan. And now here you are, hoping to escape and ignore the pitiful defeat you just suffered. But I'm not done with you yet. You both really don't know when to stop with the carnage, with destruction. The difference is whatever you see us as in your definition of carnage and destruction, you fail to look in the mirror and understand the true definition of those two words. Little tip. Don't use words you don't understand. He told me that you would ensure that the crisis would devour everything. You would prevent those who would seek to stop the crisis from happening. Wait, who said this? A man in a mask. He allowed us on here as a means to prevent you from achieving the destruction of all that is. That we could get our revenge and that we can be heroes. This is the same person you were speaking about? And he's twisting the narrative to place obstacles in my path to stopping him. Typical, really. And you bought a stranger's word. You are both Orkelian. I spit at your kind for what you did to our people. And how many times? How many times do I have to tell you? What I am doing 
What I have done ever since the Universal War has been a means to saving others, to help the helpless. The most innocent Orcellian could be on this fortress right now, could mean no harm to anyone in the whole of existence. And you, you would just be so hell-bent on trying to kill them, all to atone for what happened to your people. Yes, if you think we are known for mercy, you are mistaken. Our strength lies in standing tall against those who wish to oppose us and get him retribution to those who seek to spread discourse through any means to the Mavidians. And if we cannot thrive initially, we will always have a second plan to ensure those oppose us shall suffer. Well, sorry to say, but you're defeated, unable to retaliate. So, the best course of action is to tell us what the second plan is. <laughs> you think? Either of you are in a position where you will stand above the Myridians. I will not spell out the obvious for you. The distress will alert you soon enough. Man, just like that. Liam? Liam? We have a catastrophic situation. I think a black hole has just opened up close enough to slowly pull us towards it. What the hell? You weaponized the black hole? We were gracious to offer you in a way where all your fates would be slaughtered. You are both responsible for the deaths of everyone here. Everyone shall perish. Whoa! Our work here is done at least. No, we're not leaving this room until you explain what the hell you just did. Liam, I am on your side. I just don't think there was any outcome where that Meridian wouldn't be a concern if it were allowed to thrive. He carried extreme views that would indicate that he would never take our word for it. There was no reasoning with him, with any of them. And now we're being pulled towards a black hole. There could have been a better way on dealing with this. Come on, we need to get to my ship. With all due respect, I'm not sure what we can do. Even you know trying to close off a black hole can be a bit difficult, especially given your faulty ship. Jade, get everyone on my ship. We're leaving. Damn it, my fortress. Everything's going to fall to ruin. Again. Yeah, I think surviving is a bigger priority than this botched rebirth of Outer Heaven. We need to move. Jade, do you know how far out we are before we get obliterated? I would say five minutes. Okay, we'll meet you there. Have you gathered everyone from the eastern side? From those I can find. Haven't seen any of those creatures yet. Look out! I wish they'd stop firing me with those tendrils! More here on my left! Shredder! The humans! Or everyone! Aren't you making sure that happens already? With the black hole that's opened? Execute them aside from the Ocellian. I will deal with her personally. Yeah, I think that's not happening. Emma, stay behind me. What's that going to do? You've trapped them in with us. Yeah, but I think you know I don't slouch when it comes to a fight. At least they won't be able to get to the residence here. Open the doors. Execute the citizens. Take this. Dagger through the head should stop them dead. Pry the doors open. I don't think taking your eyes off us is a really strategic idea, is it, folks? Execute. Nice shot. Wait. We got them all? At least the ones in here. I assume there might be more on the way, but they hopefully won't be an issue. That was impressive. I've never taken a life before. Feels weird. First time always does seem that way. 
but we need to rip these doors apart so we can all convene inside that red cylinder you saw. I don't get it. How can everyone- We'll save the explanations for later. Come on, Liam. Where are you? The rest of those creatures. What about them potentially reaching the people here? They won't. Besides, best to leave them here for that black hole to eat them alive. I normally don't advocate for something like this, but their cause is committed. I think they'd rather die than face some kind of benevolent justice. Yeah, but isn't that a bit much, maybe? I know they're bloodthirsty pirates. I know. Though we cannot risk a race of bloodthirsty meridians potentially killing everyone on the Orbis and then taking a powerful machine for their own volition. I understand. Think we're losing power. Think we're getting pulled in further. No. This... this doesn't feel right. But of course it does not. We're getting pulled towards a black hole. No. This feels like something different. I like that. Very observant, Jade. You! Who is that? Oh, don't mind me, Emma. I'm just an old friend, curious to see how things were going, and I have to say, it's a shame about the black hole. Were you behind this? What is it that you want here? Well, that is pretty much up for speculation. For my reasoning to what I want, I'm here to remind you all with this crisis comes the impossibility of victory for you both. Emma, get out of here. Oh, I don't think both of you are going anywhere. My company isn't exactly without entertainment. Now, I have been monitoring you and Liam closely for some time, and rumor has it you have a device of great importance. That being an orb that was once attached to the hilt of the legendary Excalibur. Impressive, if I say so. You're not getting it. For your sake, I better. Because failure to surrender the orb to me will result in many casualties. Starting with your friend. Right? Here. It's not a wise option to reject any request made by me. Emma? I'm gonna try something risky. But it beats sticking around here. Because there is no way myself or Liam will surrender anything that gives you any leverage at all to you, your eternal, or any idiot that wishes to sell their soul to destroying the multiverse. Ready? I hope you know what you're doing. No! Ah, what a pity. Ambitious plan yet pathetically executed. What the hell is that? Oh, don't worry. They won't fight. But I did teach them a new trick or two as demonstration of how they shall evolve. Why not show us? A little demonstration. Let her go! Ah! You really got to step up your game if you actually want to land an attack on me. Jake, help me! I don't know what's happening! I said, let her go! I feel... I feel dead. I'm scared. What is happening? Ah! What the hell? Oh. Glad you can make it, Liam. It's too late, however. I offered Jade a simple task and her selfishness is Emma's undoing. Better be off, don't fancy willingly being destroyed by a black hole. Until the next time, then. Liam. I tried to save her. I know, I know. Jade, we have to move, okay? Everyone is on the ship now. Come on. They just... I just turned her and I... I couldn't save her. Hey, 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 it's okay. I'm here. Hey, Liam, I want to hurry back. I think everyone's on board. We'll, uh, discuss this further. Come on, wonderful. I have everyone gathered below deck, just so things don't get crowded here. Everything okay? No. We have to take off immediately. To need your help! I mean, I don't think the black hole should be affecting us like this here. It's not just the black hole at work! <laughs> we have company. An attack by the Eternal. She's here? 
No, the Hollowed and her second are here. They... They killed Emma. Come on! Pulling away from the black hole. Fortress is about to collapse according to the readings. Ugh, all that work and the, we should be out of range of the black hole. Mission accomplished. Weaponizing a black hole. What the hell were they thinking? And they wanted the base all to themselves, so... They were happy to destroy it if things didn't go their way? Well, given their ambitions, I think it's clear they just wanted others to suffer and for them to thrive. If they couldn't match their expectations, nobody wins. <sighs> Poor Emma. She did not deserve that. I'm going to find Jade. She's a bit distraught after what just happened. Hey. You okay? I wish. I don't know what to do about my abilities. I've just cost a life. Don't say that. You didn't know the man in the mask would appear, neither did you expect him to convert her into one of those things. I, I didn't even know that was possible. You were helpless in that situation through no fault of your own. That's it. I am helpless. I shouldn't be helpless. And it's hurting me not knowing how I can solve this issue. I don't know when it'll work and when it decides not to. I don't want to be in a position where it'll hurt me more than it is right now. Where it'll hurt you. Hey, hey, trust me. You're not going to cause problems for me, okay? I've got you. It's not your fault, I promise. So, where are we dropping these lot off at? And there's different kinds of humans and species that traveled with me, so an ideal place will be great. I know a planet where all kinds of life will survive, whether they'll be safe in the long run remains to be seen. Wolf. Thank you for everything today. Just like old times. Once we get everyone off here, I have a few more details before we make our next move since we got interrupted. We may as well try to figure out what's next. That's all good. I'll join you in a few moments. Just still. Best to keep our eyes on him. He may have helped us this round, but to let our guard down now will be on the verge of reckless. Oh, I'm not letting my guard down from him. He may have done things in the past that I've resented him for. Even right now, I think it's a bit debatable. I know the risks on bringing him on board here, but right now, with the attacks from the Eternal evolving... It's a case of taking every victory we can get. No stowaways! Good. Don't want anyone invested by the miracles of the Orbis to bag a free trip here. So... You have more information. We might share what we've been through if you're wanting to join our side. No point keeping secrets. Where were we? I told you everything regarding the popular theory on how she and her twin came about forging everything we know and beyond, as well as her current condition. Just anything about her. How to defeat her totally, even her sister, even the Hollowed. Because we're still in the dark about how those things came to be. Hell, we don't even think them converting people into one of them is something natural to them. How so? We dealt with them before, both of us and a human, and instead they dragged me to another world where I was on Orsella. But this was obviously a bit more decayed. It was practically their playground. Well, I've had no reports about the other side. 
primarily because I haven't had the pleasure of being dragged through to said side. I believe that they're a combination of two important things. They're smothered with antimatter, key to feeding their master, but also offer a slow erosion on the earth that perish. But they also need a corpse to blend two deathly factors together. Which is why what happened to Emma is... worrying. It only means they're getting stronger. The issue is... Already there was another way that I could imagine on taking them out. If they are getting stronger... Though, as for the Eternal, I might have a plan on defeating her if she escapes. I've been trying to reconfigure this orb so that it could trap the Eternal. Even though I'm not fully there yet, in theory, it could either trap her entirely or at least put her in some kind of coma. Whilst I don't know if this will work on a god, it's the best I can come up with at this point. How do you know this will do the job, however? How do you know you're not spouting hope for a hopeless situation? Because she's not the first person to go by a god's name to be imprisoned. Her being locked away happened once, so history can and will repeat itself. The issue with everyone is the belief gods cannot be tamed. We are powerless when a deity walks amongst us. You can ask me how I feel like I might hold the keys to imprisoning her. Does the information that you told me deter me from stopping this crisis? It only makes me more determined. Whether she becomes trapped in this eternal prison, whether I drive a sword into her cold heart, whatever the case, I will keep fighting until my last breath. Especially for Emma. And everyone else who has already become a victim to this crisis. At last, the walls between the antimatter universe and the multiverse are deteriorating more and more. Time is coming to a close. My army continues to see my power strengthen. Decay continues to spread across the multiverse. In time, everything will be as it is always meant to be. Where worlds will live, and worlds will die. Nothing will be the same again. In Into the Unknown Liam Carson was played by Liam Carson. Jade Caraxes was played by Rhiannon Martindale Weverup. Red Wolf was played by Alex Smith. Emma Kane was played by Kat Leroy. The Maredian was played by Francis Brody Aldridge. Next time on the Carson Chronicles. Looks like we're not sticking in Universe 1! Welcome to Liam. It's time for us to finally meet. Someone who knows me who I've not seen. Hello, Liam. It's finally time we got introduced. The whole order coming by my location. I don't know if I can hold them off. I have all the pieces aligned in order to achieve freedom. I'm doing the best I can! I keep having these... Headache. The final locks of her prison will break. There has to be another way. It's time to know the devastating reality of what is to come. <sighs>